I don't even trust Bethany. Bethany is a master manipulator. She's a liar, she's a thief. Bethany's stolen money, purses, clothing, anything that is of value she could probably sell, she sells. When Bethany comes around, you have to hide stuff in your car keys. There's been many occasions where Bethany's taken my mother or my father's car in the middle of the night and gone to go buy drugs. Bethany denies it 100%. Bethany just needs to wake up and realize what she's doing. She's just being a selfish idiot. Now, Bethany allowed our cameras to document her daily life. And when I say document, we didn't encourage, we didn't initiate. We were a fly on the wall. She just did what she did, and we documented it with our cameras. So take a look. Well, I have a scar straight down here from my heart surgery. And then I have this one here, which is where the pacemaker is now. Even though I've had open heart surgery and a pacemaker put in, um, I'm still getting high. <laughs> it's something that I can't control. I am not shooting heroin right now. I'm snorting it. Heroin is my number one priority in life. I probably use about four or five times a day. When I use, it's like a warm, fuzzy hug. It numbs out the world, and the world that I live in is no good. I'm gonna go ahead and get high in the bathroom. I feel better now. We are going to pick up some heroin right now for myself. I've got a friend that sends me money when I need it. They do not know what I use it for. I usually tell them what they want to hear, which is I'm just gonna get like just a couple bags. That'll last me a few hours. How will they feel about us pulling up with the camera? Oh no, you gotta turn that thing off. I am about to do some more of this heroin. I have a love-hate relationship with heroin. I love the way it makes me feel, but I hate what it does to me as a person and to the people that I love. With my medical condition, it's pretty insane that I would still choose to do what I'm doing. I'm risking my life at this point. That's tragic, that's sad. It, bro it breaks my heart to know that that I've known it all along, that she puts a drug ahead of her family and uh, the love that we have for her. It's, it's, it's mind-boggling to me. I understand the addictive part physically. The mental part I don't quite get for whatever reason. That makes me angry. She's just uh, been out of the hospital a very short time. Yeah, 30, 40 days. She, she was in a medically induced coma yeah. I don't understand how stupid you can be. I don't get it. And if you give her $20, it goes up her nose right now. Exactly. The doctors that operated on her heart told her that when she came to her senses and was able to, to speak and understand out of the coma, you know, they said once they operated on her heart that if you go back to drugs, you'll die. In 90 days, you'll be dead. Josh, any comment? Uh, it's just, uh, <clears throat> it's heartbreaking and sad to actually see her using um, obviously all this time we've known she's been using yeah but to watch her do it, it it's uh it's actually makes my stomach hurt a little bit but uh that's the reality of it reality of what she's doing is she's killing herself and it's just tragic and sad what i just saw i'm just amazed that she absolutely has been doing that because she's been telling me that she's not doing anything you know, and I just see this and it's just like, you know, all the lies and the stealing and it's sickening. It's just, it just is heartbreaking it hurts your heart. because this is not the child that I raised. But you have to come out of your fantasy world of what you want to believe, right. what you want to be true and recognize what is true because you can't change what you don't acknowledge. Right, exactly.